Hi, it's Dorinda Medley, second seasoner here with the first seasoner, Jules Weinstein. And Hello. I thought a former rookie would ask the new rookie mm -hmm. some questions about the season. So let's start. You ready? I'm ready. Did you survive? I did. Oh, did you make it through that reunion? You know what? I liked the reunion. Is yeah, that, it's is strange. That weird? I kind of enjoyed it. Don't you love the way everyone comes in with their game face? You know what? I kind of liked watching people with their game face because yes. I'm like, oh, you guys are such losers. <laughs> oh, God. I hope I'm not included there. No, come on. You're my pal. Okay, so I have prepared a couple questions for Jules. I want to see how she answers them. She hasn't seen any of them, so we're going to see how they go. First question is, what is the most important thing you learned this season? Like, what's the takeaway? Okay, well, I, I actually learned something really important. I'm more than just being a stay-at-home mom. Um, I learned that I am capable. Like, I started a business. I have I'm more than just being a wife. Yes. Well, those <laughs> I mean, things understatement changed. of the millennium. Yes. Let me ask you something. When you look back at it now, we, we sort of live it. Yeah. Then we walk away from it. Then we have to go back to it and watch it in its sort of edited version. Still ours, but you know, we don't know what's going to be out there. We kind of see it when the audience sees it. How did you feel reliving it the second time? I, I kind of feel blindsided. Yeah. Don't you? Because we were together, you know, I was like, oh, oh, oh. Well, your instincts were correct. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't no. put two and two together. No. Well, why would you? Never. And just generally seeing the other girls having these you know, conversations about whatever else is going on, isn't it bizarre? Because if you sort of like, if I know, if I knew them, would I know now? Yeah, um, but I, I like how it, it, it ended up. Yeah, me It too. is what it is, you know. It's a strong group of girls. Yeah, but I feel like not everyone knows me like you know me. Yes. That's for sure. I wish they could be in our, with us the other night on my couch. Dancing oh. to Mariah Carey until 11, 30, 12 o'clock. I wish they could be with us in our room tell in Miami. What I, <laughs> tell them what I did at the end of the night. We're sitting down, literally it's drinking gosh. a glass of wine. And I'm in the middle of taking a bite of the chicken that I brought over. I brought over dinner for her and Hannah, okay? Hi, I'm going to go to sleep, bye. And I'm like, what? What? I fell asleep. Come, 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 cuddle. She, to make me feel better, she's like, why don't you come and cuddle with me and go to sleep with me? And then you can go to church with me at 11 o'clock. I'm like, sure. you know what? You don't have to be polite, I'll go. Okay, so I have the next question, and I think I know the answer. Whose personality surprised you the most or sort of took you aback the most? Bethany. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bethany. Well, at first I was like, whoa. And then I was like, oh. And then I was like, whoa. whoa. So maybe I wasn't so surprised, but I always give everyone the benefit of the doubt. I always, I, I like, I trust everyone when I meet them. And then. You gonna do that second season? Uh, you know what, second season, it's going to be different for me. Yes, absolutely. You come in, you know, a little yeah. bit. As, as, as I think Bethany said last, last year, the uh, uh, guild is off the lily. If there was anything you could take back, is there one thing you'd like to take back? I know this one. <laughs> well, I don't know what you, I don't know which one. I think the pizza. Oh, my God. I even was like, oh, and I God, love you so me. much, but I was even like, ah. Uh, do, you know do you know that I left that pizza place thinking like, oh, no big deal, fine, so much fun, pizza pocket, I'll be a pizza pocket, throw everything. I just wanted to have fun. I know. I never thought that scene was going to make me look like a crazy lunatic. Well, it had a lot of help to make it look like holy a crazy lunatic. Ca holy guacamole. Yeah, there I look like... Insane. Okay. Was there any point during the season when you wanted to just say, enough, I quit? I could say yes, uh, I did. Joanne's. Yeah. You know what, I just had enough, you know. I'm open about my eating disorder, but not when people talk behind my back in a nasty way. I didn't make it the elephant in the room. No. They did. Also, too, I don't think you opened it up as a platform to have everybody be your personal therapist. No. When you're whispering behind my back, when you're mocking me, when you are asking me how much I weigh before the pizza arrives, 
it's gonna make any normal person paranoid. feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Self-conscious, not paranoid, self-conscious. Yeah, self-conscious, If Sorry. I ask you, how much do you weigh before ice cream comes, you're not gonna wanna eat the ice cream. Yes. You know, and you're, you don't have an eating I disorder. Think, yeah. I think that, um, that's Clearly I don't. <laughs> well, Jules, I have to say, I, from, a, from a personal point of view and from a selfish point of view, I was so happy you were on the show this year. I hope you feel the same way, and it was so great, and you did such a great job, and I Thank love and adore you. Thank you, and the best Number part one was mom. that we got, to, we got to spend so much time together. Yeah, I love you I so do. hard. Oh, love you. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.